Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and in this video, I'm going to show you how I made these super cute jars out of actually Tostitos salsa jars. And uh, the really cool thing about these is that they glow in the dark. I love glow in the dark. So we're using the new Glitter Makes It Glow in the Dark uh, glitters for these but they're really, really, um, they're so pretty when they're not glowing. So in the daytime, they're, you know, actually, you know, just really pretty glitter, you know, with your purple and your light blue and your white. So if you're interested to see how I did this, go ahead and stick around and I'm going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> So for purposes of saving time, I did start two of these, but really what I'm using here is Tostito jars. So, you know, I, I really like to try to recycle things and glass is really, you know, something that's easy to make into a decoration. So, you know, you have a party and you've got leftover Tostitos, save them. You can do really cute things with these. So. Obviously, take off the lid, make sure, you know, your glass is clean. These Tostitos have these, like, you know, they're not paper. It's some sort of a, I don't even know what it is, <laughs> label. And it's sticky, and it does leave a sticky residue. Um, so they have labels on both sides, but they do come off easy. So this isn't something you would soak in water. It's not going to really help you. And we're just going to take that off. And then I am going to take my cotton ball with my acetone. And I find that I like to remove it with cotton balls. And I know it seems weird because we're putting a cotton ball in something sticky. But for some reason, it seems like the texture of the cotton ball helps remove, like, the gumminess. I found this, like, I do this a lot with the um, wine bottles when I'm removing the labels with the wine vials, which I usually soak those. And then I go ahead and um, with the leftover glue, I come in with a cotton ball and the acetone. So I'm gonna remove that and I flip it over. And guys, don't reuse these cotton balls. Like once you use it on one, chuck it because it gets the stickiness and it's going to transfer to the next one. So it's not going to really remove it well. So like, you know, one and done with the cotton balls. They're super cheap. You can, you know, you can, don't have to really worry about, you know, wasting cotton balls. So then I'm going to go in with um, my acetone again on my paper towel. And I'm going to give it, you know, I'm just going to get any residue that's smeared off of this glass. And I'm gonna, I know I'm smushing my hand in here. So I've got this all nice and cleaned off. And if you find that it's like smeary, you can come in with your 91% alcohol and give that a wipe down again. And that should take any of the remaining residue on there. Um, but this one actually looks pretty good. Make sure, you know, sometimes these are stamped on the bottom or the top. This one is not. Sometimes they're stamped with like your dates. They come right off with acetone. I never knew they were so easy to remove. All right, so this is good. And I am, so I need to spray paint this cap and I've got t the other two outside drying. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint this black and then I'm gonna spray paint it the color that I want. And the reason why I'm spray painting it black is because I tried using the white and because it's such a, you know, a bright green lid, it didn't really cover really well. So I found that the black and then whatever color you want. So we'll do that later. All right, so the next step is you're going to take, now I've seen people use mop and glow. I use polycrylic. So I'm gonna pour my polycrylic into a Dixie cup because it's easier to pour that way actually put a little bit too much in there and if you can see how much I put in there I'm gonna mix some water in to thin it out a little bit because you don't need to do it full strength and it helps kind of it helps polycrylic is kind of expensive I think it's like $18 16 to $18 for this and I mean it does go a long way but um, 
you know, why not make it go a little bit longer? So I'm gonna put this to the side. I am gonna mix a little water in, and right now I don't have any water on me, so I'm just gonna use my water cup. Sorry, guys, my mother of dragons cup. This was my first dragon scale cup, and um, it's not that great, but I keep it for sentimental purposes. So, all right, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water in there, not a whole lot. And I'm gonna find something to mix it up with. I don't have anything to mix it up with right now. I'm like looking around, I always have something on my desk. I always have a popsicle stick. Ah, look, I'm gonna use the end of this brush to stir it up. All right, and I'm gonna put that on the side. And so now what I am going to do is I'm going to take my polycrylic and pour it in my jar and you know, you could just pour it all in. It don't matter, just pour it all in, right? And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna start swirling it around and you're going to just twist it. So the goal here is just to coat the inside of this glass jar with this polycrylic because that's what you're gonna use to adhere your glitter. And like I said, I've only ever used polycrylic I know that people have used mop and glow. Um, I've never tried it. I've always had polycrylic on hand. My husband um, always has something like polycrylic or whatever. So I stole his and now I have my own because he used all of his. So now he comes and he takes it for me when he needs it. So, all right. So I'm going to drain the excess out back in the cup and I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over on a tray. I have a tray here, or like a drip tray. So I just used the cookie sheet, covered it with aluminum foil and put paper towels because I want to protect, I put the aluminum foil to protect the surface and the paper towels um, to absorb. So I'm going to do that with all of these. And then, you know, it, you're going to have leftover polycrylic and you know what, just pour it right back in. It doesn't really matter. You know, if you're using this only for your crafts, then pour it right back in with the water. It doesn't matter. Right back in the jar. Um, if your husband's going to steal it because he really needs it for woodworking, yeah, that might be a problem. So you might want to tell him he can't use it anymore. Or your wife or whoever. All right, so I got that out. And I'm going to do the very last one. This is like so easy, guys. This is like super, super easy. And it's such cute results. And you're recycling your jars, your glass jars, instead of just chucking them. I mean, in the summer, I really just, you know, I love hanging out on the patio in the yard. We do lots of bonfires. We've got a big old, like, screen to watch movies. You know, and I just like having these placed around. You can even put them in your garden. Like, how cute, you know, it's just like, it's a glass jar with, you know, permanent vinyl on it. So, you, you know, nothing, the rain's not going to hurt it. So that's what's cute about this project is that, you know, um, now if you get super fancy with the jar and you start putting all this embellishments and stuff on the outside, then you're going to have a problem. But for, you know, our simple ones, yeah, if they get, I mean, I like to bring mine in, but if it gets caught outside, it's okay. Not a big deal. All right. So I let them drain for a couple of minutes and I just look, you know, and if it looks like it's not dripping anymore, it's ready. So I'm gonna go in with my first glitter. I'm gonna go in with my radioactive. And so this is gonna be the green glow. And now I haven't jarred my stuff up yet. I actually ran out of jars, so. And I haven't even ordered anything yet. All right, so I'm gonna be sparing with this because what comes out of here, you're not gonna really wanna save because it, it's gonna be coated with the polycrylic. So you wanna put in enough to where you think it's gonna like spread. So I'm actually gonna use this jar and I'm just gonna shake it up. Just shake it in here. And you can get as much coverage as you want. Like you can, you know, only have a little bit of coverage in there or you can have a lot of coverage in there. It's totally up to you. This is, you know, again, these are always, you know, optional things. These are just ideas you run with it and do, you know, do you, you know, you make this your own. But, so I've got pretty good coverage in here and I really like this. I love the way this glitter looks 
without even glowing. So it's like super pretty with the silver in there. It's really gonna like in the sun on your, you know, on your patch or your patio or your table or whatever, your porch, you're gonna see all this sparkle. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous in the daytime. All right, so I am, I have a little bit of glitter left, which is okay, and I'm just gonna dump it in my trash can. I mean, if you want to put it on the side, you know, in an oops jar, you can. But again, I don't want to because it is got polycrylic on it. So it's, you know, it, it's going to be clumpy and it's not really going to be great. So this is going to need to dry overnight with the lid off. But you can, you know, the nice thing about doing it on the inside is that you can work with it on the outside because, you know, the inside, the inside is, um, is drying and the outside, you know, you just do whatever. All right, so the next color I'm gonna come in with is this iceberg, which has a blue glow. And this is, you know, a beautiful pastel blue color. So it's gonna, again, look gorgeous. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Just sitting there as a nice piece during the summer. And then you're gonna put your lid on and you're gonna shake it up. Like how easy is this? This is not a craft for kids though because we are dealing with glass. So we don't want the kiddos to break the glass. I wouldn't let Aria, you know, do, do this because of the glass nature. If it was a plastic one, sure, all day long. Um, but not with the glass jars. So yeah, if you want to save plastic jars, you know, like plastic, the plastic spaghetti jars and stuff for the kids to do this, go for it. You know, glitter isn't just for tumblers. So I've got good coverage. And although I love doing tumblers, I like doing other crafts. So that's why it's crafting and not just, you know, like tumbler or something. Because I like doing all different kinds of things to put nice decorations around my house and recycle these um, things. And I make them for my family members and we put them on our porches and it's really cool. Okay, so we got, we got the bigger one here. And I'm going to go in now with my Purple Passion. And so this has got like a blue glow too. It's like slightly, it's, they're super similar. The Iceberg and the Purple Passion are very, very similar. Uh, I did show a picture in the unboxing tutorial that I did. There's a slight difference. So, but I'm okay with that because, you know, the outside glitter itself is gorgeous, you know. So you've got this really really pretty pastel pink or purple uh, and again it's going to look really gorgeous you know especially in the springtime with the spring colors but it's going to last you all summer long and you, you know you don't need a lot so that's really nice you don't need a lot to coat the insides of these jars and they're going to last because it's going to dry right into the polycrylic and the polycrylic is attached to the glass on the inside of this so you know it's you know, it's awesome. So here we go. So this is, you know, this is now fully covered. And I mean, guys, I think maybe I used not even a tablespoon full of glitter. My whole bag is still like full, you know, and yeah, I wasted a tiny, tiny bit, but that's okay. Because guess what? Glitter makes it has more, lots more. And with their discount codes, with my discount code, if you use my discount code, you get 30% off. That's awesome. All right, so now I am going to um, put on my decals because like this is it, the inside is done. All right, so I pulled up three designs off of Cricut Design Space and um, they were just in the free design section. I just browsed through for something cute and I pulled up two different flower ones. And I need my weeding tool. And I pulled up a saying that says, enjoy the little things, because I really believe in that, especially like when you're just sitting outside in the summer and the kids are playing in the yard and you're just kind of having a nice drink and soaking up some sun. Like it's just the little things. Cause you know, we're always rushing and hustle and bustle and working and chasing after kids and you know, rushing to get here, rushing to get there. And 
you know, it's just nice to sit and enjoy the little things or that's, you know, that's the little things that I enjoy. I don't know about you, but everybody's got their own little things. So, um, these are really super easy designs. So there's not a lot to them. And they're just, I just thought they were really cute. And I am using the Oracle 651 Permanent Vinyl. I buy my permanent vinyl from Antioch Graphics Supply, and I will link them below. They are local to me, so I can just run it in there and get what I need. And Kyle, the owner, is totally awesome. The one day I showed up, I was completely half an hour past um, his closing time, and he happened to still be there. He reopened the store so I could go in and get what I needed. Like, that's awesome customer service. So, all right, so I decided I was going to put the pink flower on the white glowing jar. So I need my transfer tape. I'm just going to put it on there. And I'll have my popsicle stick. Do I have my, oh, here's my varnisher thingy. Push it down. Stick it on my mat. Alrighty, and I measured this jar is, you know what, I forget what the measurement is of this jar. So this jar is like from here to here was three and a half. So I did this at three. So I'm just gonna lay this down on its side and I'm gonna stand up because that's how I place my decals. And I'm just gonna eyeball it like I always do and just put it on the front. Press it down. Oh, this is so cute, I love this. All right, and I'm just gonna press it down. And like, how cute is that? So you can, you know, pull any flower up, any design that you have, you know, in your in your arsenal of designs, or I'm sure, you know, Etsy has stuff, design bottle, designbundles.com. They have great stuff. This was just cricket, you know, and um, you know, sometimes they have just, you know, cute simple designs, which sometimes, you know, simpler less is more. I believe that. I really, really believe that. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this flower. And pressing this on. All right, and that's really cute. And we've got the last one. So we've got purple jar and I've got to weed that. Ugh, I hate weeding. All right, I'm just going to speed you up a little bit here because, you know, you guys know how to weed. Most of you know how to weed. So it's just, you know, when you're weeding letters, it's kind of a pain. You know, this isn't, this design isn't too bad. The letters aren't too skinny. Um, so I'm just going to let you listen to some wonderful iMovie music while I weed this. Or you can skip it, whatever you choose to do. And I will be back when I'm ready to put it on the jar. that if I go and start poking around on this H, 
I just start poking around on this H, I'm gonna mess the whole thing up and I don't wanna reprint. So I'm just gonna weed it after I get it on the jar. Sound like a plan? Alrighty. Let's do this. stand up and I'm just going to eyeball and center it, start in the center, start smoothing out this way, then this way. Make sure I've got to press down. I pull back my paper slow too in case it didn't stick like this piece just didn't. All right. Look how cute that is. All right. Enjoy the little things. Now I've got to weed this little thingy on here. This little H. That was like so much easier to do it while it was on the jar than to try to do it on the paper. All right, so I'm gonna be back to show you how I did the lid. And uh, and then we'll, we'll pretty much almost wrapping this up. It's kind of done. All right, uh, so I'm coming in with my Rust-Oleum two times black, matte black, and I'm just gonna spray this. It's really windy tonight. Make sure we get our sides down here. I walk in circles. I do, I walk in circles. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna come in with my blue. All right, so my black is dry. I had to help it along because it's chilly out tonight. And um, so I brought it in, I dried it, and I'm kinda, I have to move quick because it's getting ready to storm. So, all right, now I'm coming in with my deep blue. So this is the final color I want it to be. It's a really pretty, it says deep blue, but you know, it's bright to me. Just make sure you get around your edges. And I just walk in circles around and just make sure I get it. Good coat of it. All right, it's looking pretty good to me. So I'm actually gonna bring this in and dry it with my heat gun and then I will be ready to do the final recap. All right guys, I'm back with these jars and they're done. Oh my God, how easy was that? Super cute. So you just took, you know, two Tito's jars that you were gonna throw away and just made them into something super cute that you can put on your porch, on your patio, in your windowsill. And that is it. Nice and easy peasy, I love it. All right, so thanks for watching everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you check the description below for the products they use, which is not a whole lot in this one. So. Um, but still check below and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think and I will see everybody next time. Bye